to the deepest secrets of different bills Hey, don't go dim me, you need it, I got it listed, yeah You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah Went from the finish to making bills like a prospect Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat You keep the medals cause the rap was coming up next Only scratch the surface, still they try to drag my name in dirt They try to bring me down, see me win, you ain't like me Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is your man, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you. Right now, listen, before we get too far in this video, you know exactly what you need to do. Make sure you drop a like, right? And let's try to get a goal of hitting 1,500 likes um, in this video, okay? So drop a like, 1,500 likes, we'll push this video to the recommended. And also, show some love to your favorite old hood, Uncle Demi, man, by subscribing to the channel if you haven't already done so. I'm the hardest working YouTuber in the 2K community, man. So if you keep on showing me love and support, I'm gonna keep on double uploading, dropping these bangers for you, all right? So anyway, let's get into this video. Today, we're talking about the score machine, okay? The score machine is a little bit different than it was last year. Again, 2K has changed a lot around to make it to where, to where last year, the score machine could be able to get contact dunks, can really shoot really well dribble just all around could do a lot well this time around they're not going to let you get contact dunks off of the scoring machine name okay so um again you can go point guard or shooting guard it doesn't really matter in this instance i'm going point guard um you get more badges the pie chart that you want to use is not this one is not this one it's actually the one that is majority shooting and a little bit of blue okay you can make the score machine out of these but you have to minimize your wingspan Okay, because your driving dunk is too high. Okay, same thing here. You can actually do it without many wingspan here, but you get more badges here. Where I go? I just masked it. Right here. Here, okay? You get more badges here, okay? So um, you want to go with the balanced pie chart because, again, like this, this build will be able to speed boost regardless, and I want to have the strength because, obviously, you want to be able to finish strong at the basket, man. So that's what we're doing. So here you go. You want to max those out here. Then what you want to do is your mid-range max out all this. And then you want to go fit 65. And that give you 22. Then you want to go ahead, your pass actually max this all out. And then you want to go 35 to get 14. And then of course you want to max out your perimeter, your lateral quickness, your steals, your blocks, and then 17 will give you six defensive. So you're looking at 12, 22, 14, and six. This is your typical score machine type lineup. Um, I mean, um, build other than the fact is like you're just not getting contact dunks regardless so um you cannot have um i think it's like a 79 and get the name of course as most people know if you keep making enough you're going to see slasher 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 over and over and over everything on this build is a slasher if you have too much finishing okay so um this is what you want to go with 12 22 14 6 which give you 54 badges total which is really good um with your body type, you want to go ahead and you can pick any. I'm going to go solid here. You want to stay 6'3", 195, and then your wingspan, you want to keep it the same, okay? You don't want to change anything on your wingspan because all it's going to do is lower your shooting and then lower your ball handle. As you know, you have to have an 85 ball handle to maintain um, the pro dribble. So, of course, right now as an 82, you need to be a 98 overall to get 85 ball handle to be able to get those dribble animations. So, if that's something that you're seeking, that's what you need to do, okay? You do not want to try to make it even more difficult to where you have to maintain a 99 to get pro dribble animations, okay? So when it's all said and done, a 69 strength, 89 speed, 70, I mean, 80 um, six acceleration, 88 vert. Really good, man. Then you'll have, like again, a 78 driving dunk, a 90 mid-range shot, an 88 three-point shot. You will have an 86 ball handle with an 83 um, pass accuracy. An 80 perimeter defense, 76 ladder quickness, 84 steel. That's not bad at all. Like I said, this build is meant to be de really, really destructive shooting and scoring, okay? Like shooting, this is going to be a really, really good build. It's very athletic. So that's where this build is really going to shine at, all right? Now, when it comes to your takeover, there's many choices you can go here. Um, I would personally recommend either shot creating or sharp takeover. But in this instance, as a score machine, I just think that shot creating takeover would be the best. Um, if you want to go slasher, you can. Now, take this in mind. If you go slasher, you do get contact dunk animations with slashing, okay? So that's why you want to go ahead. If you somebody that want to have that ability to be a shot creator, I mean, be a score machine, have slashing takeover, and then 
be able to get contact dunks once you get it, you can do that and you can get the contact dunks too, okay? So understand that. You do not need to have an 84 or 85 driving dunk to get contact dunks if you have slash and takeover. If you have slash and takeover, you will get those contact dunks, okay? So, but me, I'm gonna go with shot crane takeover, all right? <laughs> And here you have it, my nephews and nieces, a scoring machine, which is crazy because it says shades of Steph Curry. And um, from a shooting standpoint, yeah. But other than that, again, it's really hard to make a Steph Curry build like that. But um, Steph Curry Steph Curry's definitely, he scores a lot of buckets. Damian Lillard, a lot of buckets. So I can see that. But anyway, let's test out this build. Let's give him the 99. Go over a couple badges. And then, of course, you know, we'll get y'all out of here, okay? So let's give him the 99. All right, so... As usual, contact finisher at 6'3", Giant Slayer is going to be important. Um, Slithery finisher is the other one. Now here, I will go consistent finisher. Um, um, fancy footwork is good. Acrobat's another good one. But these four are very important um, it's on 2K now, man. Consistent finisher really helps you out right now. If you have not seen how the layups are this year and the interior defense, um, they're not the same, man. It's, it's a lot harder to make the layups in the, um, around the bank, the bank, <laughs> the paint. So... You want to make sure consistency there. Contact, of course. Giant Slayer and Slither are really, really OP. Um, from a shooting standpoint, of course, you want to go Range Extender, Hot Zone Hunter, Green Machine here, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, Tyler Shooter, Volume Shooter, and then I'll go Difficult Shots. Okay, so um, I feel like these are the most important, to be honest with you. Tyler Shooter, Volume Shooter, Difficult Shots, Range Extender, Hot Zone Hunter. Green Machine, you can't go wrong. That's me. I don't see how you can go wrong at all with something like this. But again, like I said, man, it's your build. You can do it any way you want to. But from my standpoint, um, volume shooter, if you're going to be the primary ball score, um, shooter, obviously that makes sense. Tyler Shooter is very OP this year. It's been OP last year. Um, it's just that a lot of people didn't want to get it because, you know, they had to use quick draw and all that type of stuff. But understand this. Tyler Shooter is very OP. When you're flashing red, you can shoot confidently knowing that you're not going to miss or it doesn't really matter if you're flashing red. Tyler Shooter Hall of Fame is OP, okay? Um, then from a playmaking standpoint, of course, you want to go handles for days. You want to go quick first step, um, unpluckable, bail out. Those are the most important. And then here is just really about what your animations you want to use. Some people love Space Creator. Um, others love Ankle Breaker. For me, I'll go Space Creator and Ankle Breaker just to get those. But... Um, um, you know, they, these are the most important, I feel like. And, you know, if you want to try to go bronze and then go here or go here, you can too. It doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, we can do that too. It don't matter. Yeah, we can do that. All right. And then defensively, um, clamps and intimidator, man. Those are the ones that I would definitely say will make sense to go with. So that's what I say go with, all right? But um, again, like I said, it's your build, guys. I can do it any way I want to. The badges is just my idea. Like, it's, like, it's not the end of the world, man. <laughs> just pick whatever you're happy with. I'm just giving you what I'm thinking, all right? But other than that, this is a scoring machine. I um, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and as usual, your favorite old head, Uncle Demi. I'll be back really, really soon another banger. You know, when I say I'll be back soon another banger, you already know what day I'm talking about, man. I'm talking about tomorrow. I'm out.